The case of Jane Toppin. Jane Toppin, born Honora Kelly in 1857, was an American nurse and serial killer who confessed to killing at least 31 people in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. She was born in Boston to Irish immigrants and was orphaned at a young age, eventually being sent to live in an institution. After leaving the institution, she changed her name to Jane Toppin and began her career in nursing. Toppin's killing spree began in 1885, while she was working as a nurse. She would experiment on patients by administering lethal doses of medication, enjoying the feeling of power she gained from having control over their lives. Her preferred method of killing was by administering a mixture of drugs that would induce seizures, and she would often climb into bed with her victims as they died. She continued to kill throughout her career, even after she was fired from various hospitals for erratic behavior and drug addiction. Toppin's crimes came to light in 1901, when the family of one of her victims requested an investigation into the cause of their loved one's death. A toxicology report revealed traces of the drugs Toppin had administered, and she was arrested and charged with murder. During her trial, she confessed to killing at least 31 people, including her foster sister, landlords, and patients. Despite her confession, she was found not guilty by reason of insanity and was committed to Taunton State Hospital for the rest of her life. Toppin's case was one of the first in which a female serial killer was tried in the United States, and it garnered significant media attention. Her chilling confessions and the details of her crime shocked the public, and her story has continued to fascinate true crime enthusiasts to this day. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content just like this.